worked on the water, bone in in Pembrokeshire, always lived in Pembrokeshire. Uh, worked as a tug skipper for 30 odd years. I've had this boat for six years, spent four years rebuilding it using a terrible estate when we had it. And we've been sailing it for two years, incredible boat to sail, very responsive, very fast. And the designer was just asked to make it to go quickly. He didn't have to put a double bunk under the after cockpit and he's done that. He, she's such a responsive boat to sail. 36 foot long with a bowsprit and the boom hangs out over the quarter so a difficult boat to sail. It's a bit like having a Formula One car as your everyday runabout so it makes you concentrate when you sail it and absolutely love the thing. She's a, an amazing bit of kit. 1897, 119 years old wherever she is but she can, we came home the other day and we left a 36 foot modern yacht behind us and we were towing a big heavy dinghy so, and that was beating and gaffers aren't supposed to go well upwind but an amazing boat, it really is And can you just tell me where you found her? Found her in North Pembrokeshire, we live in South Pembrokeshire and she was only just worth doing. She was an absolute wreck when I had it. Nearly in two halves, the bit of the stem, bit of the counter was there, and one floor, met a steel floor, iron floor, holding the two halves together. But you stood inside and you actually stood on the grass. She was basically in two halves. So a lot of work. Many a time I thought I'd taken on too much, but she's turned out okay. And what did she cost to bring back to life? We, I didn't keep an account of what it cost. I thought I'd give up. When you're buying bronze screws for a pound each, and you're buying boxes of those, you think to keep a good relationship with the wife, you're best not to know a lot of the time. Ah, so it's only because you don't want the wife to know? No. And it, it wasn't a major consideration. As long as I could afford to do it, I keep, kept going. But uh, it wasn't the major. The, ma the most important thing for me was to get the boat back on the water and hopefully sailing for another hundred years. A lot of the timber came from the riverbank. Oak trees that had fallen down and had it planked up. Stuff like that. So a lot of the timber was sourced locally. A lot of old oaks that have been growing on the riverbank and with the banks being eroded they'd come down and just lie there a lot of people just leave them and I had permission from the landowner who lives opposite where we live and I'd take it home cut it up with a chainsaw and, and shape it to replace a lot of the, the frames in her so it's quite nice that a lot of local timber has gone into it because she was a Welsh boat originally and we I'm trying to keep her as Welsh as possible but, uh, yeah, very proud of very proud of the boat and the way she handles, and she's turned out really well. And will you be sorry to sell her? Yeah, break my heart. Yeah, she's something special, isn't she? she'll go to somebody that'll appreciate her. <laughs> 